Welcome back to the National Defense. It's Randy Miller, and we've heard from T. Shane Johnson already today. Uh, T. Shane, of course, is the monster that is going to try 19,000 push-ups on Veterans Day <laughs> to uh, for, for a great cause. He's, of course, raising money for the uh, National Purple Heart Honor Mission. And here to talk more about that, Colonel Russ Vernon is with us. Colonel Vernon, how are you? I'm super. Thanks for having me this morning. And, and how many push-ups have you done today? Uh, I guess I have to be honest. I haven't done any. <laughs> this. What about this guy, T. Shane Johnson? I mean, he's an animal. Uh, I got to tell you, 19,000 push-ups is yeah. in 12 hours. I can't imagine. You know, when I was a cadet, we to get a, uh, I think a maximum score on a PT test. We had to do something like 120 push-ups in two minutes. Oh wow! And that wow. was brutal. Yeah. Well, to, to do 19,000, I just can't imagine. Yeah, we did the math on that. That's 26 push-ups every minute, and T. Shane said he's going to go for 27. But to do that uh, every single minute for 12 hours. That's that's going to be something to uh, <laughs> uh, to look forward to on uh, Veterans Day, but you know, absolutely. We we asked T. Shane, you know, why and how and and uh, and how uh, he picked out uh, your organization for this uh, honor, and he had some great things to say. I mean, obviously, uh, Purple Heart recipients uh, are are incredible, and uh, you serving as the executive director for the National Purple Heart honor mission uh that had to uh had to make you feel good when uh, t shane came to you and and suggested this huh oh it makes us feel great and and you know we're dedicated to paying tribute to the combat wounded through special outreach and educational programming and you know the nation's purple heart recipients have made extraordinary sacrifices for our freedom and there's more than 1.8 million americans have been awarded the purple heart And it's the one medal no service member wants to earn, but symbolizes the sacrifice like no other. Sure. And it's the medal they're most proud of. And those heroes, you know, who bear the physical scars of war, they're the ones that saved the world from the darkness of Nazism, communism, fascism, terrorism. And they continue to symbolize the best of America's spirit and resolve. We're talking about- Shane's efforts are, are going to go a long way to ensuring, you know, we honor these great patriots. We're talking to Colonel Russ Vernon, executive director for the National Purple Heart Honor Mission here on the uh, National Defense. So now you're you're a West Point grad. Uh, you've had a, a long and, and distinguished military career. Um, how many uh, uh, when you when you got involved with the Purple Heart uh, Mission, what what was the motivation for you? The motivation is these are people that um, without any fanfare, without uh, any reservations, went and served their country and and gave their all. And those that were able to come home came home wounded. Many of them today uh, suffer those uh, wounds of war and anything I can do to help any veteran, but especially these Purple Heart heroes, is uh, top of my uh, to-do list. Well, yeah, that's a uh, that's a great uh, service that you guys are certainly providing. And you know, we've been doing this show for quite a while, and it's uh, it's rare that you you run across. You know, what did you say? One point eight uh, million. Eight million. Yeah, one. You know, you look at that number. And you think, what a small number that is compared to our population. And it just says so much about these Purple Heart recipients and going above and beyond. Where can people find out more information about these individuals? So www.purpleheartmission.org. And their stories are remarkable, but these are these are ordinary men and women sure who have done extraordinary things for their country yeah it's it's yes. just amazing you know uh between the medal of honor and uh, and a purple heart uh when you read these stories you, you just can't imagine what it is inside someone uh 
that allows them to to do this to to go uh, uh, above and beyond you know i think it's i think it comes down to love of country and an appreciation for what it means to be an american and today you know we we have a little struggle going on with what that's all about so that's why it's important for us to help um today's youth and help educate them on the sacrifices that have made their ability to protest, their ability to burn the flag. Um, the, the freedom to do those things was earned by these um, great soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marine who were willing to give all. Yeah. Well said, you, you know, and I totally agree right now is uh, has never been a better opportunity to spotlight some of these heroes and when shane uh, t shane is doing his push-ups on uh, veterans day you can participate um push-ups for purple hearts.org that's push-ups for purple hearts.org you can go there and you don't have to do nineteen thousand push-ups but uh you can do some one minute push-up competitions and and you know see t shane uh in his pain while he's doing these and also uh pr- provide some some great uh, benefits for uh, for Purple Hearts mission. I mean, this is just, it's a great idea. Uh, I love the fact that T. Shane is, is jumping in there. You know, I asked him how he trained, and he said he gets up every morning and he does 750 to 1,000 push-ups. And, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's a little hard to imagine for me. Yeah, I get up and make my bed. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh. <laughs> exactly <laughs> absolutely well colonel listen thank you so much for uh, taking the time uh best of luck on uh, veterans day with t shane and uh he, we're going to check back in with him after the event and uh and see how he did and, and how much he did for the uh the national purple heart honor mission how can people find out more uh, about your organization so once again it's uh purple heart honor mission dot org um purple heart i'm sorry purple heart mission dot org www purple heart mission dot org and we'd love people across the nation to do push-up contests with their fellow uh veterans and uh donate to the purple heart honor mission to help us uh carry forward our mission of honoring these great heroes and uh, educating people across the country on their service. That's fantastic. Purpleheartmission.org. Colonel, thank you so much for the time today, and uh, best of luck on Veterans Day. Hey, I appreciate you and your listeners. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back here on the National Defense.